So one of the first things that everybody needs to decide before considering an educational program such as this is do you have TMS? Do you have mind-body syndrome? Is that the source of the issues, the symptoms, the problems that you're currently facing? Everyone needs to consult with their doctor or some doctor about this. The educational program is not designed for people with cancer. It's not designed for people with serious heart disease, serious lung disease. It's for people with TMS, tension myositis syndrome, as defined by Dr. Sarno, or what I sometimes call mind-body syndrome. That is physical symptoms and psychological symptoms that are caused by stress and unconscious emotional reactions to stress. So consulting with your doctor is the most important thing. Getting a medical diagnosis. What is the medical diagnosis? If you need surgery urgently, such an educational program is not for you. If, on the other hand, your physician says you can try a conservative therapy, you can try things like physical therapy, massage, acupuncture, in that case, clearly, you can try an educational program such as this. People who've been diagnosed with uh, disorders that the medical profession calls fibromyalgia, TMJ, irritable bowel syndrome, whiplash, most people with chronic neck pain and back pain that haven't responded to other therapies, most likely those disorders are forms of TMS or mind-body syndrome. If you're still unsure, read about it. Read Dr. Sarno's books. Read websites like Kim Ruby's website, Tarpit Yoga, Dr. Schechter's website, uh, mindbodymedicine.com. Those give good information about TMS or mind-body syndrome. Most people who have this disorder and they read those books or those websites, they look at it and they look at themselves and they say, boy, that sounds like me. Look at patterns that have occurred in your life. People who have had um, histories of headaches and migraine headaches or irritable bowel and fibromyalgia and back pain, over the years, typically, that's a pattern that has occurred. Look for correlations between emotional stresses in your life and stressful times in your life. Are those the times when your symptoms were more prominent? That's another clue to the fact that you may be suffering from mind-body syndrome or TMS. If you're still not sure, I do not recommend these types of educational programs if you're not sure. If you're in doubt, see somebody who specializes in TMS or mind-body syndrome. There's lists of these uh, physicians on, on my website, on Dr. Schechter's website, on Kim Ruby's website, and uh, you can go from there. The main thing is to get the right diagnosis. Treatment of mind-body syndrome or TMS works because it's finding the cause, the true cause of the symptoms, and then treating that. If the cause is in the mind, then that's what we have to treat.